It's really a shame that hovering, which once sounded so cool, now totally gets a bad rap. There are parents that hover over their kids while they do homework. And the worst kind of boss hovers over workers to make sure things are getting done. Well, I'm here to rise up and tell you that hovering is about to be incredibly cool once again. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to take you back to the future. Sure, we have moving sidewalks and various contraptions to make getting from point A to point B as effortless as possible. But what we really want to do is this. Float above the ground and just go. Using available technology, it's become a reality for one man at least, who built a handmade prototype of a hoverboard that set a world record for traveling the greatest distance hovering over water. I traveled the old-fashioned way, by plane and car, to Sutton, Quebec, Canada, to meet Alexandre Duru, the innovator of the Omni Hoverboard. You told me earlier that when you first thought about creating a hoverboard, you thought propeller and snowboard boots. And part of that made it into it, this. It made it true, yes, yeah. So walk me through how this works. It's an electric propeller-based hoverboard. You have a controller that you use in your hand, and you can control the power. So by accelerating, you're going by up. By accelerating, you're going up, and it's your body balance that controls the rest. The hoverboard is a large octocopter. The electrical power comes from batteries attached to a light custom carbon fiber frame. To give the hoverboard its lift and hovering capabilities requires eight carbon fiber propellers that had to be custom made. This is the controller. Is this, is this <laughs> a pair of pliers here? That's a pair of pliers. <laughs> First prototypes don't look pretty, but it's proof of concept, right? Yes. That's the idea. And the idea is that it flies. That's what matters. To fly, the hoverboard requires a lot of mechanical and electrical engineering. But what really matters is finding and controlling your balance on this powerful device while it hovers above the ground. It's just an incredible feeling. It's an extension of your body, and you're thinking, I want to go this way, and you just lean this way, and it's like instinctual. You forget about the machine. It's magical when you're on it. I hardly can explain in five words. You're gonna demonstrate this first for me. Uh, I'll, yeah, for, for sure. And then I'll, I'll let you try it. The first training session was conducted, suspended by a rope from a tree. Alex instructed me on power control and using your feet for balance and direction. Soon, it was my turn to give the hoverboard a try. And just like learning how to snowboard or surf, it takes practice to get the hang of it. And with all that power under my feet, it felt pretty intractable. Not so sure I did get the hang of it. <laughs> Alexandru is working on a newer, streamlined hoverboard that he hopes will be available in the next year. It's a new machine altogether that uses the latest technologies in pretty much all the fields. Probably going to be a recreational vehicle to start. Then we'll see where it takes us. While Alex is busy doing that, I'll just hang off this tree and practice my hovering skills. <laughs> 